because it's a contra asset. So we're gonna have to do that conversion again. So I'm gonna represent credits with a negative number here so that it'll be debits minus the credits will equal zero and that'll be our check figure. So this is gonna be uh, 110750 and this is gonna be a credit negative 95. And now we'll do the same math. It's subtracting these two out. We can see from this year to this year, of course it went up, but it went up in the credit direction. So we just gotta get, we gotta get used to the, which way things are going. And there's no getting around that uh, when we're working with debits and credits or the math of plus and minus, we gotta know which way things are going, either using the accounting equation or debits and credits. It's easier once we set up the system to do it this way with debits and credits uh, within Excel, because then everything will kind of go the same way. And I, I hopefully I'll you know be able to prove that to you as we go. And then I'll try to abbreviate uh, accumulated depreciation here. Our next item, if we scroll down, we're gonna skip these subtotals again. No subtotal, no liabilities, no current liabilities. We're gonna go down to accounts payable. So accounts payable is our next item. And we'll tab through there and we're gonna pick up this uh, credit once again, 1750. So we're picking up this, flipping the sign because it's a liability which has a credit and a credit of 102. And so if we subtract those out, we get uh, the 100,250. So it, could, it went way down, but it went down in the debit direction. So the difference is decreased in the debit direction. Then we've got short-term notes payable. So short-term notes payable, our next item. And once again, that's gonna be a liability. So it's credit 15,010. So there we have that difference of 14. It went from 1,000 up to 14 increase in the credit direction. And then we're not gonna have the current liabilities. We're gonna have the uh, total current liabilities as a subtotal and then long-term notes payable. So we want long-term notes payable. Be our next item. And if we scroll through here, the long-term is gonna be the 100 credit 100,000 and credit 775. And the difference being the 22.5. And then again, we're not gonna put total liabilities. We're gonna go down to equity now. So we want common stock. So that's gonna be our next item, common stock. And that's gonna be a credit 215 and 